Hey, we're going to get started on a tutorial with C-Sharp. We're going to build this word counter app. In this first video, we're going to focus in on the layout of all of these pieces, and then we're going to work on the first column here, which is loading from a text file. So before we get working on this, let's get a preview of what the final product's going to look like. So you can see I have the application open. I have a load button here, so if I choose load, I need to have a text file in, a, in order to make this work. So after I choose load, I pick an article. So I have Abraham Lincoln on my desktop, and let's choose open. And you can see that this first phase is simple. Just take all the text that's in the file and display it here. Now the second is build, so let's choose that. And this will take the contents of this text file and we'll put them into a list. So you can see that one line contains one word in the list. If I choose sort, then you can see that the list will be sorted alphabetically. And so the ones that start with spaces are at the beginning, and probably things that end with the Z are at the end. Now the last is called the count word frequency. So if I click that, it will take all of the text that's in here, and you can see there's some output happening at the bottom. This takes a little longer. And so when I sort this, you will be able to see that the frequency counts the number of words. So this looks like a space is 2,000 sometimes. The word the is the most common uh, word in the article. And you can see Lincoln shows up near the top because it's about Abraham Lincoln. And then if the bottom is shown, we can see the very uh, rare words only occur once. And so that's the uh, application that we're going for. Now in this first phase, we're going to dedicate the time to create this layout. So we have a few labels, we have six buttons, we have a, uh, a text box, a list box, and then finally a list view. So let's create that now. So here in Visual Studio, I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to choose a WinForms project with the .NET framework, and I'll name the project as a Word Counter App. And so we'll have a new desktop app ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is enlarge the form. It's going to be a fairly large app as far as the, great, the space on the screen. Then we're going to put in three labels. So these are the three columns. And the first label are, we're gonna, I'm going to number these so that the user can see that this is a sequential process. Number one, we're going to say load a text file. And then for the second label, I will call it number two and split the file into words. And then three is count the frequency of each word. And so that gives the user an idea of what this application is supposed to do and the order in which it's supposed to happen. Because honestly, it's kind of an odd application. People wouldn't understand how to use it without some kind of a guidance with these labels. So let's put the first two buttons in for the first part of the app. We're going to choose the first button called uh, Choose a File. And so a good name for that is BTN Choose File. And of course, the text for the button should reflect that. The second button is for clearing this text field, so we'll just call it clear. The next item that I'm going to put on here is a text box. So find text box in your controls, and we need to make this text box multi-line, because by default, text box are for things like a name or phone number, one item. But we're going to show an entire file. So multi-line sets to true. Then, of course, we want it to be tall and somewhat wide so we can hold a lot of text on the screen. Now I'm going to leave the other controls for later in the application. So right now we're going to get the uh, file working and the clear button working. So let's code the program here behind choose a file. I'll double click it. So as soon as I double click, you can see that a method has been created for the button click. So now inside of this section, we're going to code. So a key command that we're going to use is called the open file dialog. It's a class. And so all of the dialog boxes, such as open, save, color picker, and things like that, are all predefined for us in C Sharp. So we don't have to actually uh, develop any of those things ourselves. We just use them. Then, after we create this class, I'm going to ask if this dialog box has an OK or if a selection was made. And so we can do that by checking to see show dialog is the method, and the results of that will come back as a number. And a specific number is called dialog result, result dot, and then you can see that there are things such as no cancel 
OK or others. And so we're looking for the OK option. So that means somebody opened a file and chose OK. So now the goal is to get that text that we chose the file from and uh, transfer that into the text box. So I first of all get a method called a open file log file dialog dot file name. So whatever file was chosen will be returned to the system as a string and we'll save it in something called file path. Then I'm going to input that contents of the string into the text box. So text box one dot text is the property and then we're trying to get from a file. And so you can see I'm having trouble trying to get the word file to be recognized here. It's because we have to import a special library for system.io. So IO stands for input output which allows us to do file, log, file reading and writing. And then we do a read all text. It's a one line command that will read the entire contents of a text file. Now there are other things for text files. You can do stream readers and you can do read all lines and there's many ways to handle a text file. But in this case, I'm simply wanting the entire block of text, whatever was in the text file and save it to the text box. All right, so now we need a text file. So let's get some public available copyable text that has no copyrights issues. So I'm looking at Abraham Lincoln on Wikipedia. Pick an article that you like or any web page. And simply we're going to copy the text. You can start just for the first few paragraphs or if you want to copy the entire thing, which is what I did. And so what we're going to do is just uh, copy this stuff here and uh, we're going to put it into a text editor. So in Windows, Notepad is what you're looking for. So if you have a different operating system other than Windows, you'll probably have a text editor in there as well. But the important part is th this is not Microsoft Word. This is a strictly vanilla text editor. All right, so now I need to save this. So I go find the file menu and choose save. And it's going to ask me where I want to save it. So I think I'm just going to pick the desktop. And I've already got it labeled here as Abraham Lincoln. So if I push save, it's going to ask me if I want to replace it and I've already got a document. So you need to save it, but I've already done that. So I'm gonna push cancel. So let's go back to into Visual Studio. We've got one more thing to program here. So the clear button. So let's double click that. And this is gonna be one statement. So we're gonna say that it is textbox one dot clear. And uh, it's a method, so it needs parentheses. And I think we're ready to test this. So let's push start. Okay, so the first part of the app was probably gonna work. Let's choose choose a file. And you can see that the file open dialog box shows up here. And I'm going to pick something from the desktop and I have my Abraham Lincoln article and choose open. And you can see I've got the entire article in this uh, line here. So if I were to find the properties, I think scroll bar is visible sometimes or invisible. And so right now, obviously it's not visible. So I need to have a bigger text box if I wanna scroll down, but that's gonna work there. And if I push clear, it's gone. So now we're ready to move on to part two, which is to split the file into words and put them into a list box. So that sounds like a good thing for our next video. So stick with me and let's move to part two of the app.